Thank you, Your Honor. I'd, I'd just like to read this before the court. Uh, I understand the court has made this decision, but Mr. Adelstein brought something to my attention out of the Thomas case, which is a Supreme Court case. And it says, as noted, every Allen charge issue must be decided upon the particular facts and circumstances surrounding an individual case. So that goes to the issue of individuality and whether or not it should be tailored to the circumstances of the particular case. And we are taking a position that mirrors what the Supreme Court has declared that modification of Allen charges is not foreign. As a matter of fact, the Supreme Court has directed that it should be tailored to the perfect circumstances surrounding the individual case. So that we maintain our objection. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So we want to bring the jury in? Yes, sir. someone has one uh, from one of the members of the jury. Uh, as I tried to explain to you earlier, uh, all the electronic devices are basically, you're not allowed to have those in the jury room, so uh, we asked uh, our bailiff's Gary to try to collect them. Does anyone have an Apple Watch, yes or no, uh, in their possession? I'm, I'm, I asked the question, does anyone have one? No? no, no. I see everybody raising their hands or several raising their hands to show they don't. Mm -hmm. There's no Apple Watch. Thank you. The second thing I want to uh, do is, uh, based upon, I received this juror inquiry form that is signed uh, by uh, the uh, four person that reads as follows. Uh, State of Florida versus Jamal Demons, case number 1900-1872-CF10A. Uh, check the box to ask the following question. What if we can't come to a decision? Everyone is stuck on which side they've chosen uh, signed by the full person. All right. Uh, so what I'd like to, to tell you uh, or read to you is an instruction is called uh, jury, jury Deadlock 4.1. And it reads as follows. I know that all of you have worked hard to tr try to find a bird in this case. It apparently has been impossible for you so far. Sometimes an early vote before discussion can make it hard to reach an agreement about the case later. The vote, not the discussion, might make it hard to see all sides of the case. We are all aware that it's legally permissible for a jury to disagree. There are two things a jury can lawfully do, agree on a verdict or disagree on the facts of the case. Excuse me. There are two things that a jury can lawfully do, agree on a verdict or disagree on what the facts of the case may truly be. There is nothing to disagree about on the law. The law is as I told you. If you have any disagreements about the law, I should clear them up for you now. That should be my problem, not yours. If you disagree over what you believe the evidence showed, then only you can resolve that conflict if it is to be resolved. I have only one request of you. By law, I cannot demand this of you, but I want you to go back to the jury room, then taking turns, tell each of the other jurors about any weaknesses of your own position. Uh, you should not interrupt each other or comment on each other's views until each of you have had uh, a chance to talk. After you have done that, if you simply cannot reach a verdict, then return to the courtroom and I will declare this case mistried and will discharge you with my sincere appreciation for your services. Ladies and gentlemen, you may now retire and continue with your deliberations.